Hi guys, welcome to Thomas Drum Bash. And welcome to the first five drummers one loop video. And what's going on today is that five drummers whose style couldn't be more different play to the same music loop and talk about how they came up with their part. And the five drummers are Domino, Ihan, Fred, Daniel, and my name is Simon. Let's go. Hey, this is Fred. What you've just heard gives you the impression that I've played four different grooves, but that's not the truth. It was always the same. I've simply switched the hands to another instrument on a drum set to give it a new style and feel. The whole groove is based on the Tresillo clave and the sticking in each hand stays the same and the bass drum is constantly playing four on the floor. Hi, I'm Daniel Gallardo. I just played drums to Let the Groove In by Justin Timberlake and I wanted to go over my approach. So, this song already has a lot of cool moments in it. Um, the horn stabs specifically caught my ear, especially with how syncopated they are. So, in order to emphasize those parts that were already really cool, um, I added some syncopated hi-hat work, doing some opening and closing open hats matched with the kick to give that added accent. In addition to that, I wanted to let those horn stabs have their moment, so I only saved the snare for the four of every bar. To me, that gave the groove just that much more weight to it while allowing those syncopated parts to shine. So what I did is I divided the loop into two different groups. The first one is more enhancing the rhythm of the vocals. And the, with the second one, I was inspired by Jeff Pokaro because yesterday I was watching his instructional video on YouTube. And at the beginning of this video, he plays a tom groove with a halftime backbeat. And that really inspired me to try that on this loop. So this is what I came up with. A tom groove with a halftime backbeat on my snare drum and a four on the floor and the bass drum. Hey guys, this is Domino. Thanks so much for watching this video. This track was so much fun to play. As you can see, there are so many possibilities when it comes to playing over a drumless track. You just have to feel the music and let the improvisation do its thing. So I hope this made you want to play your own version. Stay tuned for more videos and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye. All right guys, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in a comment if we should do such collabs more often and which drummers should we invite to be part of the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell and we see each other again in one of the next videos. Until then, Drumbash crew out. Bye, bye. Are you